My name is Sam Cannon. I've been using Packback for just this semester, so this is my first time engaging with it. Um, I'm a assistant professor of Spanish. I teach Latin American literature and film and comic books. Currently this semester, I have 16 students uh, in the class. And so they're, uh, they're engaging with, with Packback. We're doing the deep dives and the discussion. And so it's really creating more of a community in the classroom that they bring with them when they step in because they've already built it, you know, online. The AI hints and clues and like the awareness that it brings to students as they prepare their questions and their responses really makes them much more robust than just the things that we've had happening, you know, in our other learning softwares. That's been really good. The other thing that I've really appreciated about it has been the deep dives that keeps students having really important rubric material in mind as they write. So as they're going, the AI is reminding them, hey, like, don't forget about your citations. Don't forget about your structure. Don't forget about your grammar. Um, and that just makes the writing process uh, I guess it, it would be what I would be doing if I were over their shoulder watching them write something and then I don't have to be over their shoulder watching them write it because Packback's giving them those tools and that immediate feedback that makes it really helpful and useful for students. Um, also on the other end, when I'm grading and I'm looking at what's going on, sometimes when I have a rubric, there, there's those decisions about where should this grade fall or how harsh should I be on this particular point. And when you have the the AI there, that's kind of like backing you up a little bit. It's uh, one of those situations where you don't have to go to a colleague necessarily and say like, hey, what do you think? You have at least something that you can refer to and that the student is already aware of because they've been watching the, the scores change as they're doing the work. And so it makes having those kind of harder discussions easier. I think they really feed each other. Um, the students are, proposing questions that they're interested in and then getting feedback from other perspectives. And I think that gives them food for thought. I've seen the questions that they've discussed on the discussion board then inform conversations and discussion in class and in their deep dives, you know, weeks later. And so it creates like a, a flow of thought between the class and between students that then appears in, in the deep dives. So I think that doing one without the other isn't going to be a, as strong or at least you can build a synergy between those because you have them doing the things that really at the end of the day i'd love my students to all sit down in a room and, and drink coffee and discuss you know these movies and just you know go back and forth and that's not as easy to make happen but with the discussions i think they're developing their ideas and their interests throughout the semester and then when it comes to the deep dive they've already had some feedback they've had people challenge their ideas so i feel like it's even refining and polishing their thought process and their work one of the concerns was just that it's changing from what i've done and what has been done um, so, you know, the traditional hand in the paper and you write the notes on it and there's that process that we're used to and it seems like sometimes we don't want to complicate the, the experience or add something else to it. Or even, you know, I was wondering, do I really need or want to add an extra, you know, charge or anything like that? It's something else for students have to click through to do to get the assignment out. But at the end of the day, the outcomes are much better than what they would have been producing on their own. Uh, so seeing students have that thought process, have the discussion, and then do their final deep dive, the outcomes that I'm seeing are better than what I'd expect for just a paper that I said, here's the assignment, turn in a paper. I think especially for the students who don't have all the skills or didn't come into college with a lot of the, the background for like, how do I watch out for format and structure? How do I make sure my grammar is, is correct? And those things, not having the AI there to, to remind them to comment on that and point that out, you know, they're kind of on their own and I can't be there to give them all that advice. And even in terms of revision, they may turn in one piece and then I can give them feedback but this is constant feedback from the time they're writing a, you know, a question in the discussion to when they're doing a final, you know, essay. 
and they're having to put all those ideas together in one place. So I find that as being a huge help to me, just in the sense of like, it's helping draw their attention to the things that I want to prioritize in their writing and thinking process. Mm -hmm.